Local Republicans called Democrats sneaky for timing a commissioner's vacancy just right. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, breaking news from the Aspen area, where one backcountry skier was killed this morning by an avalanche in Castle Creek Valley. The man was with a group out of the Markley Hut when he was caught and carried. The CAIC reports partners dug him out and started CPR, but could not revive him. Authorities have not released the victim's name or age. This is the 10th skier death of the season in Colorado and fourth in the backcountry. Tune in tomorrow for the latest. Two skiers died over the weekend in Colorado and Utah, one inbounds and one in the backcountry. A 46-year-old Tennessee man died at Ski Granby Ranch Saturday after colliding with a tree. In Utah on Friday, a 26-year-old backcountry skier died after he was caught, carried, and buried by an avalanche. Neither he nor his partner were wearing beacons. His body was recovered after more than 12 hours of searching. County Commissioner Dan Gibbs is joining the state cabinet for new Governor Jared Polis, and seven local Democrats are vying to fill his empty seat. Candidates include current Brett Council members Aaron Giello and Elizabeth Lawrence, plus former Council member Mark Burke and nonprofit veteran Lee Gervin. Former Mayor John Warner was in the running, but withdrew. A Democratic vacancy committee selects the next commissioner. Members meet with candidates this Wednesday at a public forum to ask questions and learn about platforms. Think of it as a public interview. That forum is 5.30 p.m. at the Senior Center in Frisco. Gibbs ran unopposed in the most recent election, but accepted his appointment to Polis's cabinet 24 hours after he was sworn in as commissioner. That timeline does not sit right with members of the local Republican Party. The appointment process is in fact legal, but sneaky. That was Kim McGahey, chairman for Summit County Republicans. He says Democrats are using appointment to their advantage, holding onto a seat they've already controlled since 2009. That's how they avoid going to a public vote and retain a fellow a liberal Democrat in their monopoly of the Summit County Board of Commissioners. Sitting Commissioners Karn Stiegelmeyer and Thomas Davidson are both Democrats serving their final terms. The newly appointed commissioner must run again in 2020. Big things are in the works for Summit Stage. The free bus system gets $4 million for upgrades to the Frisco Transportation Center this summer, part of the county's $126 million budget. County Manager Scott Vargo. In this first phase, they'll be reconfiguring some of the bus passenger drop-off pickup areas, reconfiguring some of the parking lot. There'll also be a new building down the road. $2 million for the new Transpo Center comes from state and federal grants. Summit Stage is also getting five new buses this year. Summit County is sending 14 locals to Ski Mountaineering World Championships in Switzerland this March, including 10 junior athletes. Past U.S. Ski Mo team athletes like Jamie Brady and Nikki La Rochelle welcome newcomers like Kate Zander and Jeremiah Vale to the national team. 28 out of 41 team athletes are from Colorado, the most of any state. Locals represent every major town in Summit except Frisco. In local sports, brought to you by Deep Water Mountain, Inc., all Summit High sports teams are off until tomorrow when boys and girls basketball are in rifle for the Bears. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.